Hello guys, this is your favorite Wiggly Wiggly. We're playing Firewatch, and it's day three. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Um. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Yeah, he's uh, hairy. Women say that we have a similar as far as they remember the journal. You asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, oh, Tuxedo that's a nice van. As possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Yep. Bad day nights. Yes, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> uh. Huh. Well, I have a thin mustache, real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Are you a freaking Bond villain? I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. Casino Royale, right? I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? What? Okay. Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes well. Hmm. They look tired. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, you hit a certain age, and you just you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, mm. got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. So I'm gonna look like a band villain, but with sad eyes. Whoa. Okay, what do I actually need to do? Uh, when the day started, which we actually don't see in this episode, he was, uh, Covering the hole, yeah, we need to board it up, okay. We don't have any boards. Uh, nope. That's one. Two. Three. I swear, one day, 
someone's gonna be there and I'm gonna die. Huh. And three. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Hmm. Let's go exploring first. Ah. Uh, we need to go to Cripple Gulch. to actually uh, li leave the line there Hmm. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. Oh. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? Uh. No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Bang. I hope it's gonna end better than last time. Well, yeah, guys. We actually did it. Now, I uh, haven't yet finished checking out the place we went to last time. Where the girls were camping. Maybe we missed something. Nothing new here.
Okay, I remember the waterfall. And the camp was somewhere here. Uh, now it's not. Okay. Hmm. Path. Oh, it's not a path. Some rocks. More rocks. What was that? Sure, I heard something. You heard it, guys? Probably just hearing things. Oh, I'm climbing it up or not really? Ha! Where's the cash? Ah, it's here. Ah. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. You know, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. That's, uh, quick. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Ah. Uh. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. 
They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. Shit. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Hmm. It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah, probably a lot. So I guess you didn't get their names then? Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Mm. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Yeah. Whoa. It's a real fast forward here. I'm coming. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Uh, talk to Julia. Hey, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Aww. I am. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Hmm. And now it's a man. And I'm next to the supply drop. So I'm actually close to the fence also. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when yeah. you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hmm. Okay. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and hmm. I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. So she wasn't calling. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Before I took this job, I <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. 
Hmm. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. We're all I lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Mm. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Don't even comment on that. Two fourths. Uh, that's me, right? Yep. Right, right. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Sixty four. Whoa, we got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hot shot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Hmm. So, no ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire, even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. Nice. So there's this creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Ah. I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and chill in there all day and then on nights like tonight when it is so disgustingly hot I have something nice and cool to drink I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe she'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head you'd like it there hmm I'm sure I would sounds pretty great it is are you looking at the fire yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Hmm. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Aww. Sure you are. I am. I don't know what that means. It doesn't matter. I get it. Julia and everything, you probably don't want to be here. I don't know if that's true. <sighs> Forget I said anything. I I just meant I like that you're here. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things it's burning away? Whoa. Seventy-six. And as it amounts. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Sure. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, 
how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's just put it away. <sighs> Get out of here. Get us here. Okay. The old camp. Hmm. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. So it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Hmm. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. What the hell? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Just let me know, okay? Tanya, okay. Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. I found a walkie talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure Or Shit! I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I do. Wapiti Station, right before us, cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? You saw Henry pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. Look, I could hike over there and look around, but I won't be able to get through the fence. <sighs> How do you know? I already tried months ago when I was out there hiking. <sighs> Curiosity got the best of you, huh? Rightfully so, in hindsight. Well, shit. I could spend all day banging on it and see, I guess. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? 
Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They hmm. burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Ruby River. Okay. Alright, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Hmm. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. Alright. Be careful. Okay, let's uh, find those guys. It's one of those places I haven't visited yet. Ah, oh, it might be a good idea to actually check who's doing that. Hoax rest, maybe. Looking for a bed also. Need to have that in mind. Anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, wh what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Hmm. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's hmm. not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Gonna check that house first. Okay, that's the old shitter. Nothing changed here.
Still windy as hell. Oh, oh shit! Oh hell. Oh. Oh hell. I, I'm oh, I'm out of here. Get a coon. Oh. Okay, really, really. That is the case. Two caches left. Why haven't I checked that earlier? That is the line. But we need to proceed for here. Locked. Hope I don't get kicked in the face. Oh, okay. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. Hmm. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Hmm. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. Probably. Okay, that's my tower. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Hmm. Well, at least I uh, still know people to scare me there. Might as well check my place. To 
is not wearing his ring. Delicious. Okay, coast is clear. That's this way, right? Hello, fair tail head. I know it's not here, but I want to check it anyway. Okay, we're just going, okay. Wrong road. Get a cash there. One, two, three, four. No, it's... Run. Pa, 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 miss your day. Book. Some pee-pee. Ladder books. Come on. What did we learn? Scout camp, okay. There's one more cash down the river. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. 
Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Hmm. That's a pan? No. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Well, it's terrible, but that's how it works. Now I need to go west. Uh... Check the last cache. Wow. Yes. Big three. No shit. Okay, I see the cash. One, two, three, four. Three blind rats. And nothing else. What have we here? Okay, let's just get to them.
Mm. Okay. What the hell? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Hmm. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Port Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Hilarious. Whoa. Camp Arapo. Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. There's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Mm -hmm. If not through here, then how? What? I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. Okay, this is the bridge. goes through here. And through here. Hey, I wandered into an old scout camp. I'm gonna look around here first, okay? Alright, um, that's the operating area of the hotshot crew who are doing the controlled burn. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure. Uh-huh. 
you ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Hmm. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics. Model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Hmm. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. No good any more. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. The scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. We already saw this van. Yeah. Nothing here and no music, just great. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. What have we here? Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Does it say anything of note? Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. Hmm. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Hmm. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Uh -huh. but why record us? How could they let them do that? Study people who sign up to watch fires? How? Huh. Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Yeah... Henry? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Not gonna be easy. A broken bridge. Pa 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 pa. What now? Hmm. 
Oh, there's also one more place to chop down a bit further. Didn't notice it. But according to the map, I should return. Uh huh. Oh, okay, a black player. Wah! Wah! Okay, I saw a tree there. Ready to be cut down. Let's do this. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Oh, it's here. Now, okay, we're here. Probably nothing. Uh, Worth mentioning here. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Alright, so, uh, tell me what you think of this. What? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Shit. Well, day 77. Time for a break. Thank you for watching and see you later, alligators. Bye, 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 bye.